This is the fucking news with your host. I don't know. So this is the super special regular episode. Uh, post-election coverage. We're sitting here right now where it looks Nick, like Nick? Hillary Clinton is the new president <laughs> of the United uh, States. Yes. A and we're, we're recording this uh, 100% live. So this, this is, is my in fight real time. Song. It's in no I'm way a uh, pre-recorded <laughs> episode. And you know what? I'm just so... I'm with her, dude. I've been with her the entire time. And you know what? We knew that we were going to beat these fucking... These bros in yeah. uh, yeah. the country. All these racist-ass... Fu- these male-ass crack of white. <laughs> Boys. It's not their country no we, more. We told them. We told them that uh, uh, all the POC women, who are statistically six percent of the United States population, <laughs> were gonna. Uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna. Our, we're gonna make our voices heard, and yeah. we're gonna get. Uh, yes, Queen into the White House, and we did it. We one hundred percent did it. Um, Feels good. Yeah. yeah, folks, that's what we would be saying if we actually did pre-record this podcast like a bunch of frauds. Um, yeah, we really uh, shit the bed because we only prepared pro Hillary. Uh, yeah, she won uh, stuff. Yeah, exactly. We uh, like Hillary. We didn't even prepare a concession, <laughs> <laughs> so we needed the next eight and a half hours to pout in the cryo chamber that's keeping us alive in her Michael Jackson yeah. <laughs> in her, in bubble, her zero gravity, fucking iron lung that she lives. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. So we're. Uh, and she's like, you know, she she sleeps in that thing from. Uh, remember in Big Lebowski, mm-hmm. when the, the writer, that guy that wrote for Branded. Yeah, the Iron Lung. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. I don't like liars, and if he doesn't throw her in jail, we should impeach her. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. We I think that's why Donald he's going to get impeached for not <laughs> for not for throwing not her having in jail. Hillary Clinton uh, placed on the National Mall. Mm-hmm. And this is actually my idea of his plan to uh, to win back, uh, uh-huh. you know, America's economic power from China mm-hmm. is he's going to sell tickets to Chinese, uh, you know, wealthy Chinese. You, mm-hmm. I don't even know how you get wealthy in China. Sh- karate? Sh- Chinese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Karate. Yeah, yeah. You have to start um, a dojo. All the, all the karate billionaires yeah. in China <laughs> are going to buy tickets to watch Hillary Clinton get murdered <laughs> on the National Mall. She, and he enters her into a kumite, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they get the chance to fight her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, USA. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's going to be a brave Tiananmen-style standoff where Hillary stands alone in front of a he's tank. He's just on a tank <laughs> waving to people <laughs> while he's slowly about to run her over. <laughs> and he's going to slowly crush her. <laughs> yeah, with a tank. I would like to see her get shot. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> shot by a Christ. firing squad. You know, uh, in a classy <laughs> way. She yeah, still gets right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it would be that would be a good end. Um, yeah, it's fucking. So, how? And then, how? And, then, and then Obama agrees with Trump for doing it. <laughs> And then he brings jobs back to the country. And yeah. uh, well, that's what we were saying. What if he's just great? What if he was right? Okay, first of all, he's not going to do anything. Mike, Mike Gay Pizza Pence is going to be the president. Mm, I know. He's going to, he, when he uh, offered John Kasich the Veep position, he was like, You're going to be in charge of foreign policy and domestic policy. <laughs> and then he's like, So what are you going to do, Donald? He's like, I'm going to make America great again. Yeah. You know, so like, he basically, he's barely literate. He, can, he can't read. He are has no hobbies. Are these Tums? Those are Tums. Right, Stav just ate a Tum like a candy. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I was, my blood sugar you was low. It was a candy. <laughs> <laughs> what it was, bitch. I had a whole bo- uh, bag of chocolate covered pretzels for lunch. Oh, Man, I had the it. best sandwich last night, but it had jalapenos in it. And this morning, I fucking, your asshole you know, like everyone well, else in America, I woke up and I just, I felt like this can't be real. <laughs> All right. I have to have diarrhea that's fucking bad <laughs> from this jalapeno. What kind of sandwich was it? Oh, uh, some big turkey and cheese. Ah, and get turkey out of here, man. Fuck turkey. Turkey and ham. All of them. Turkey's great. You're a fucking no, idiot. I like a little damn salami, bitch. Yeah. Anyway, they have majorities in the House and Senate. They're going to appeal basically any legislative accomplishment of Barack Obama had, what very few ones he had, which are basically Dodd Frank and Obamacare. Those are going to yeah. be gone the first six months. Yeah. Uh, well, Obamacare is already imploding. So, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I, I, yeah, I, it's like been such a fucking disaster. And it was hopefully they, uh, uh, they could have used that disaster and be like, oh, this is someone else's fault and get single payer. But that wasn't going to happen. No. You think Hillary wouldn't have made single payer. Well, happen? she wouldn't Who have knows? been able to make it happen. The, the yeah, Congress she wouldn't anyway. Have. So it doesn't matter. I mean, I went to go buy a fucking uh, uh, policy yesterday or two days ago, and they just don't offer platinum plans where I live. 
like five star rating. in your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, no, I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what what demographic reasons that's for. Yeah. Um, um, geez, Louise, <clears throat> too much heart disease in your neighborhood. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. Uh, it's fu- Can we even do an irony, an ironically <laughs> racist podcast? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the Apprentice guy is the president. <laughs> yeah, of course we can. This is our oh, time. Yeah. No fucking. This is our fucking moment, guys. We did it. This is Comtown's fault. We were the only ones that actually predicted it. Yeah. Um, although I said I, it, and everyone laughed at me. I'm like, he could win. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing. Is like, you know, think about all the time. I mean, maybe it happens to me more than anybody else. But like, somebody will message me or pull me aside, and they'll be like. Yeah, I mean, I agree with these whores, but Jesus Christ. You know? <laughs> it happens all the fucking time. Behind closed doors, it's, you know. Yeah. People that are like, I mean, I agree with this ostensibly, but really? Like, I'm a rapist for not going to see the Ghostbusters movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the people that voted the way you wanted them to. Like, what do you think? Like, some guy in the middle of fucking Pennsylvania is like gonna just sit there and read all day long no well i don't know i think world i think not develop some kind of some kind of identity well okay i don't think it was only because of identity politics and fucking i I don't i I don't think so either i think a lot of people lost their job in the fucking rust belt in the 90s because of nafta and they supported bernie in the primaries and they couldn't in good conscience no i feel like bernie would have won what about i think he would have won you can't really make an argument saying that that's where i want to ask ask somebody guys Push it, T and Beyonce though. Shouldn't those guys have swayed? Yeah, white guys in Pennsylvania. Well, that no, are broken because shit? whatever goodwill they might have caused was completely destroyed by Lita Dunham's rap song. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's her fault. Fuck, it's what, her her what a brain! Fault. What a brain dead moron! She I released know. that rap song, and then did you see that uh, HuffPo article where she's like? You know, I just, like, thought the idea was so funny of, like, this, like, out-of-touch white girl. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what the fuck? (laughs) That's you, you dumb, rich asshole. It's fucking... The only good thing is It's like, it really is like, uh, like, if you walked into a locker room, like, you're in high school and you walk into a locker room and your friend is, like... On his knees, blowing another another guy, you know, and he's like, "Hey, hey Mike, this is you, dude. <laughs> this is you, just sucking the dick as hard as you can. You're fucking gay, dude. This is what you dude, do. I don't want to. I don't want to venture into misogyny or violence against women, but I hope Lena Dunham dies. So. Yeah. Well, she uh, she I has she, to leave the country. I hope she leaves. Yeah. I hope she goes to fucking Canada and you terrorize she, them. she should also be shot. Hillary, <laughs> Hillary on the Christ. National Mall in a pantsuit, and then Lena Dunham completely naked with a burrito. <laughs> shoved in her pussy <laughs> I mean <laughs> okay so what's the what's the silver lining in all this there a lot of those people <clears throat> legalize it in Boston baby <laughs> yeah yeah oh that's that was the best that was the best shit on Twitter I know he's <laughs> the fucking dude Tommy Chong being like we fucking did it man <laughs> well, yeah man people crying yeah. like yeah. children be like <laughs> yeah but honestly man it's not gonna be because of me <laughs> it's not gonna be that fucking bad It'll be bad. Yes, it will be. It's crazy, though, That's, dude. You realize, like, it half the be. country was saying that when Obama was elected. They thought he was the fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, but they're idiots. But Obama no, wasn't be. bad. Trump he gets is a fucking two crazy Supreme motherfucker. Court picks. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is going like to fucking 60, die. Hold on, Ruthie, baby. She can't stay awake during a Texas state of the union. to fucking secede. Huh? What? Sixty percent of like Texas wanted to secede. Yeah, in but the, there was just Obama. Good. They just believe that because they're fucking retards. Well, because he's Trump. Black. Yeah, and Trump is Not because like of a anything crazy Obama said. motherfucker. And dude, dude, Rudy Giuliani's like it's not just Trump. Everyone Trump like Newt Gingrich is going to be Secretary of yeah. State. Ben or Carson, shit. Secretary yeah. of Education. Ben Carson yeah. is one of the stupid. Like, how can you be that yeah, good I at brain it. surgery and just a fucking moron at Baltimore, the same time? Dude. He was Baltimore, B-more, dude. Gifted hands. In Baltimore. Gifted no, he's not from there. I bitch. was trying to remember. He studied at Hopkins, though, right? Yeah, he's from. He went yeah. to Hopkins, and then I was changed. trying to remember the name of his book one time, and I couldn't remember it. And the first thing that popped in my head was, uh, "If these hands could eat pussy." <laughs> <laughs> the Ben Carson yeah, story. The ben Carson story. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Um, I she sucked my dick. I don't know how it happened. Can we talk for a second about how comedy is going to probably suck for the next four years? Whatever, man. Yeah, I already, I, yeah, I, I, I addressed you that, on, that on Facebook. Yeah, because it's like people are like, oh, well, at least there'll be a lot to joke about. It's like, no. first of all, you're not fucking funny. Yes. Yeah. You don't know how to joke about anything. You know, this is just going to be, uh, it's going to be four years of you being like, guys, 
the president is bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, we got to do something about this here at over the eight uh, open mic. <laughs> oh, I'm out of time. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess back to my uh, dog walking job <laughs> where I make a difference. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, dude. We're fucked. Who cares? But honestly, fuck the DNC. Mm-hmm. Fuck oh, Hillary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck all of those old, old guard 92 James Carville new yep. Democrat fucking pussies. That's yeah, all they are. Get it. They're fucking Go off, pussies. bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. It's my time. Go off. <laughs> all right. Dude, I'm just fuck them all. They need to go away and we need new people. And uh, Tulsi Gabbard is the one I think. Who? She she surfs. She surfs. She, she used she to be in the troops Ooh, and she's hot. Nice. I'm yeah. in. And she's Buddhist. Tulsi 2069. 20, 2020. 2020. Tulsi. 2020. Uh, but oh yeah, and anyone that's saying Michelle 2020 needs to fucking walk into the ocean. <laughs> I know. Dude. Well, that was that was the best part of the last like month or two. Have they not learned although, their lesson? Although, it uh, would be uh, funny. The rise, the rise of like uh, uh, Michelle. Uh, uh, fan fiction oh, on, yeah. on Twitter yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Sadie Doyle types. It's like uh, Michelle right now pulling Obama aside. Now, now it's my turn. Yeah, I'm exactly. next or whatever. Shut up. And then they like have sex. Yeah, like, yeah. like, what are you doing? No, there was right? one. That, I saw a tweet having... that was like it sounded like she was about to fuck him in the ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Someone made a joke about that. Well, know. it's just like those women. Just like I the, voted for the Hillary. Actual, by the way, the actual you fa- voted yeah, for Hillary. Yeah, the yeah. actual fan fiction isn't even about Michelle being at politics. It's like them be. It's two people in a relationship. Yeah, it's like Michelle has someone who loves her. Yeah, like that's what they're actually fantasizing they're at home about. Masturbating to the idea <laughs> of Hillary pegging Bill. Yeah. That's a, an a nine hundred and eighty two year old man yeah. taking a fake dick in his ass, strapped to both of their pelvises would snap. <laughs> nah, Bill still fucks, that. dude. I mean, I'm I sure he gets his dick vegan. sucked by children on that plane. <laughs> on Podesta's plane. Like, it's, 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 literally, uh, he's not even a pedophile. Yeah, what if Trump he's not happened? even a pedophile. It's just your your dick can only handle a child's mouth. What if Trump age? catches the case for fucking that kid? Dude, isn't it sad? I don't that, think so. Have you, you, don't think have so? you paid attention to well, that? I think it's, it's statute of limitations, out. right? No, it's just like a bullshit thing. It's not true. But hold yeah, on. That, that, from you what I've read, because that's the thing, it would be a much bigger story. Look how big pussy grabbing was. Yeah, of course. If Donald Trump had actually, if there was any credence to that story, that would be a huge fucking story. No one had a tape of him saying the N-word? Nowhere? I have I it. So. But yeah. I have it. I'm Why didn't you release it, you piece I'm, of I'm not shit? It was a private, it was yeah. a private voicemail. Uh, uh, friend, 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 client, privilege. <laughs> um, do you guys think... <laughs> <laughs> best, <laughs> best friend, best friend, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you guys think in like a back room of the Javits Center, there's just like... 12 seven year olds that didn't get fucked because they're like the celebratory kids everyone was gonna suck off. Oh my god, <laughs> they're like, they're like yeah. well, I can't, we can't fuck yeah, these yeah, kids. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's a shame they're gonna go yes, to waste. It's like, I, I can't even get hard right now. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> just stop trying, Michael. <laughs> just stop trying, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the lesson for us, I can't even fit it in him. <laughs> I think Trump. Oh, I wish there was a secret code for this. <laughs> John, get the list. Get the email I sent. Yeah, from my other secret account, uh, jpodesta at yahoo.geocities.virus. Yeah, what's the code for when your dick is so limp from blowing the election? Risotto. That you can't put it, you can't put it in a two-year-old. My safe word is risotto. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck fuck man. him. Fuck all of them. They need to fucking go away and never come back ever again. Feel the damn ass burn. Yeah. He would have yeah, fucking like, won. In hindsight, it's like, Hillary was like the worst fuck. Everyone she hated her. Sucked. She didn't. We that's, knew they that's hated that's her <laughs> before <laughs> when the primary was going on. Yeah. There was this no way she was going to impress everyone. She's like, I got the next four months to teach everyone how cool I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and they were like, they've hated me for plan. 30 years. I'm, I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. <laughs> that should have been a fucking immediate. It should have been more. That should, that's the biggest That's red a flag. Howard Dean Yelp. That's that the biggest red flag is that I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. It, she's never going to pull it off. It's yeah. never going to fucking happen. And really, when it what it comes down to, and, and these, these fucking idiots can't even figure it out, is it's so simple. It's a fucking popularity contest. Yeah. Bill Clinton was cool. George Bush convinced people he was cool. Obama convinced George people he was cool. George Bush is cool. He's pretty he's stupid. And you know what? He's a war criminal. Donald, but he's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Donald yeah. Trump is cool. Donald Trump is cool. Donald yeah. Trump is funny as shit. They're like, oh, you know, he has a small hands and a shitty body. He has fucked so many more hot women. Than <laughs> yeah, that's so that's never the story. Who's that journalist he, like, fucking called on the phone because he criticized him and he's like 
I get more pussy than you do. Because <laughs> the guy criticized him. And like fucking... And then he sent him a letter he wrote in a gold marker. Oh, fuck. He's cool, dude. They yeah, need, but this sucks. They need to, they <laughs> need to find one Never. cool Democrat in the next four years. I don't know if it's even possible. Who? Tulsi. Dude. Yeah, yeah, Tulsi, our girl. Yeah. Martin O'Malley. Get, get O'Malley yeah. back in. Well, he's... Re- O'Malley fucks. He, yeah, but he O'Malley's not... Guitar. O'Malley's too, like... No, he's, he's retarded. He's like a... Yeah, yeah he's, he's... He's straight up retarded. He's, he's like... Uh, 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 no, he sucks. Yeah, he was the he was he's the governor. Like, almost like socially impotent, where right, he could right, be right. cool, but he's just so fucking boring. On paper, he's cool. He's like he's like the asshole, the SGA kid who's like, oh, I'm mm-hmm. the fuck it, I'm cool like everyone else. Well, he's cool in the way that like there's be like a. Uh, you like meet somebody and they seem like they're objectively cooler than you, but they're like, wow, like they're impressed by you and you lose respect for them. Right, 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 right. Because yeah. they shouldn't be. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know who we got. I don't know. Dude. I think it's like it, the most important thing right now is just to reiterate over and over and over again that Bernie would have won, whether it's true or not. <laughs> It's because true. It, 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 first of all, it is true. He would have won. But even if it's not true, mm-hmm. it, they're going to immediate. I mean, they're already they're already done it. First, it was uh, Gary Johnson and fucking you know claiming claiming uh, 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 voter suppression, like black voter suppression, even though she had like what fifteen percent turnout in Florida. Right. Oh. It was atrocious. Oh, oh, and also Gary Johnson gave her four states yesterday. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. she would have gotten her ass kicked even worse yeah. in Colorado, Nevada. That been so embarrassing. Uh, Minnesota, yeah. and there's no. One there were more. people literally. Adding his votes to her votes as if it makes everyone no sense. who voted for me. Yeah, I know, I know. It's like, have you yeah. met any libertarians? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're <laughs> not. They're not Democrats. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, or well, it's not Jill Stein's fault either. No, and, and it's not fucking uh, 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 cracker ass mayo ass white boys. She was an awful yeah. candidate, and Hillary, we've been saying it. Hillary fucking Uncomes sucked. Up. And yeah, no. Here's the thing: if uh, y- you know, even if you could make an argument as to why Bernie wouldn't have won, you have evidence now that Hillary wouldn't. That's yeah, objective just, fact. She, she, just, she loses did lose to Donald Trump in the matchup. And I love that the argument was electability. Yeah, that of was course. the argument. Oh, of course, no, Hillary's more electable. Yeah. Yeah. that's why. Oh. So, and then here's the question: If oh, you, if great. you meet Fuck. somebody that says that they would, you know, uh, that oh no, Bernie is not electable. Knowing now what you know that Hillary Clinton can't beat Donald Trump, would you go back if you had the opportunity to and vote for Bernie Sanders in the primary? No, because it's it's violence against women. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Because <laughs> you get so wrapped up in your bullshit fucking identity politics and white men are bad no matter what, that even when you have a more progressive one, yes, we still have to vote for the woman. Even though she's a shittier candidate, right, right, she's right. going to lose. You would blow the election just to vote for a woman. Yeah. Because it's important to you to have your selfie with, you know, in the voting booth and talk about it. Was, it. The first time I saw Little Mermaid, I knew. <laughs> It was. I said, that was the worst shit too. When it's like fucking all these like, I, like I just can't wait till I can tell my daughter that she could be president one day. It's like well, you just don't now. Well, she can't. You're fucking your father, and you're at home, and your daughter's like, Daddy, can I be president one day? And you're like, No, Sarah. I told, I told you. Until yes, Bay Queen Hillary is in office. You shut the fuck up. You have zero aspirations. It's a man's world. It was funny with the Instagram algorithm rhythm being fucked up where it doesn't just show you like chronologically yeah, what yeah, happens it's not a it's that, timeline that, that like yeah. that yes last night you were ju- and this morning you were just seeing like all that happy yeah, yeah, yeah happy like can't wait till our first woman president yeah. <laughs> I was just like oh my god my mother queefed me out of her cunt <laughs> 12, 21 <laughs> years ago and now <laughs> the queef cunt combo yeah. yeah she queefed me out of her cunt and now we are wearing pantsuits together yeah. for Hill Queen. But, you know, I mean, no matter what, it's going to get worse in terms of like uh, the cultural shit that bothers me that, you know, Trump did run on that fucking yeah. you know, did help him. But it's just going to get racism. Worse. Not, not racism. Dog whistle I mean, racism. I mean, call it dog whistle racism if you want, but like push back against, and then to, you, I mean, you can't even use political correctness or even the term like SJW anymore because then you're immediately lumped in with like alt right guys or Nazis. Hundred percent. There's something to be fucking said about the people that have actively tried to destroy comedy over the last six years, <laughs> yeah. six seven years, and they did. They have. Comedy has gotten objectively shittier. Yeah, no, comedy is just good points now. Yeah. The yeah. Daily Show fucking sucks. sucks. Yeah. It is an awful fucking show. 
it's so fucking bad, and it pales in comparison to what uh, uh, you know even the other spinoff shows are. Right, 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 right. You know, yeah. Colbert yeah. is a better show. Right, Samantha B is a better show. The the old the Colbert Sh- show was the best one out of for all sure, of for sure. I mean, it was the only time America's ever done satire really that well. We're not that good at it. I am. They're much better. I fucking England. am, dude. Nicole <laughs> Mullen. Great at it. Nicole Mullen. Even and, this uh, right now, you can't tell whether I'm being serious or not. You have no fucking. If you idea disi- whatever you're disagreeing with is satire, and whatever you agree with is us being yeah. real. You fucking retard. <laughs> that mean that? Who knows? This is satire. Who knows? Uh, I think it's important that we go back to and address the. Uh, the post from that woman who wanted her Down syndrome son. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. You know, when, when God closes a window, i.e. Yeah. Tom Myers being when able God to closes eat a window, Hillary's <laughs> pussy yeah. and live his dream, he, he he's opens a door, a by beautiful door. Creating a boy with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> who really wants to tell Tr- uh, Hillary and Obama yeah. that they're fired. I also, I guarantee you, I fucking guarantee you that Donald Trump got 100% of the Down syndrome vote. <laughs> BB, no, BB was pro- <laughs> BB went hard everything. for Trump. He's, <laughs> really? not, yeah. he's not Down syndrome, but yeah, yeah BB went something. hard. He's Trump. got neurofibromatosis. Yeah, yeah, that's what he has. Yeah, yeah. which means his body just produces stones under his skin. Oh, really? Guy. Yeah, no, it's fucked up. Jesus he's just, Christ! He's like, well, everybody, I'm making another video. Reminder that I live in constant pain. <laughs> Happy birthday to Sarah. <laughs> Jesus. I saw a bus earlier. Well, off to the doctor to get part of my brain removed. <laughs> he loves the bus. God yeah. damn, that sucks. Anyway, let's read the post again. Let's uh, I'm having trouble finding it. What were you saying, though? It's not, what, you were saying that the Trump speech there was at the Trump's headquarters. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you watch that when he's making you his acceptance speech? You told me last speech? night. Hold on. That there was a, and I didn't tell you. When he's making his acceptance speech. The Nazi thing? No, not the Nazi thing. That was at some party. Oh. What was it really was thing? at? Which we have to talk about in a second. Oh, yeah. I for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking piece of fucking shit. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. You know what? It's, you know what's so funny about him is I kind of wanted him on. I don't even like... I didn't understand why everyone was mad about that price increase. I mean, I understand what he did was shitty, but it just seemed like an inordinate amount of attention on a guy that does a thing that happens literally all, all the fucking time. time. Yeah, he was like a and whipping boy for an entire and, industry. Right, and it's like... Yeah. but. Wh- like, why him? What did he do? His and face. It's not his face. It's that he pissed off everyone in fucking biotech prior to that uh-huh. because he was a finance guy that like made his money by shitting all over biotech startups mm-hmm. because he like taught himself a bit about chemistry or whatever, mm-hmm. biology. And so a company would be like, we have this new, you know, he did it with a weight loss company. You know, we had like a weight loss pill in clinical trials. So he looked at the science and he's like, oh yeah, this isn't going to fuck him. So he shorted so it. So he publicly trashed the company, shorted yeah. it, and then also like... Like made complaints to the FDA so that like the trials took longer and failed or whatever. Well, he's smart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, he's definitely not a fucking idiot. He's yeah. like a very smart guy. What? But you know, so I, you know, if we had him on, I wouldn't even grill him about that shit because like I don't fucking care. You know, I mean, <laughs> well, if, there even is if he, another. Even if he raises the price, people get that through insurance anyways. That's the point. Yeah. The point is that he's not really hitting the AIDS patients. He's hitting yeah. the insurance companies, and that's why there was a big wave yeah. of like anti really yeah. sentiment. He's also a fucking piece of shit too and he's also a kid that got his ass kicked and called a faggot his whole life and he turned yeah, into yeah, a yeah. complete asshole yeah yeah um he's a south brooklyn what is he armenian or something yeah, yeah, no yeah. he's albanian because i make fun of elvis yeah. about it all the time yeah. <laughs> uh yeah you know i was just gonna have him on and then ask him non-sequitur questions i thought it'd be yeah. funny yeah, yeah, i wanted yeah. to ask i, mean, I really just wanted to exploit him for for the audience you know well, well, play, like i don't even know who the fuck he is yeah yeah but uh but yeah, immediately he was being a dick about it. Yeah, um, yeah. F- well, but yeah, Martin, if you're listening, you're still welcome to come on the show. <laughs> We'd love to have you as a guest. But no, he was at some party last night, and then some girl was like posting, like, "I ran into Cutie Pie, Martin Scrawley." <laughs> I forget who it was that posted it, and then she hashtag Rahoa, which is it stands for racial holy war. <laughs> Which is like yeah. a white it's supremacist like a, thing. Yeah, a neo-Nazi Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I was just hoping that his, at his acceptance speech, Donald Trump would come out and there'd be like balloons and then Sam Hyde in the, in the TED Talk <laughs> and costumes weaves. behind him and weaves there and Pepe on like the unicycle and they got me fucking, uh, yeah, Milo's there. They're just hanging. Yeah, uh, yeah. Clinton Milo's Apogee. just getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. Yeah, Milo's getting fucked in the ass by a black guy. By Gavin. By, by, Gavin. No, by a black guy. Milo and he's just shouting. Guys. The N word, yeah, yeah. and he's shouting the N word in each thrust. Black Every guys, thrust, black 
black guy's got uh, the black guy's like uh, got like a diglet head, like the three diglet, like that meme. So it's three black eyes. And they're all kissing. Yeah, yeah, they're all kissing. <laughs> While well, they uh, fuck Milo in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> He's he savages. Says, He's he just savaging my all ass. His, all his 4chan is just right behind him on the stage. He's like, we did it. We said it was going to be done. We did it. End of story. But what were we saying, though, at the, the speech? He's giving the oh, speech. Oh, yeah. He's giving the acceptance speech, and some guy's just like, kill Obama! <laughs> Yeah, just yells, kill Obama. <laughs> the president, yeah. the sitting president of the United States. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're fucked, man. <laughs> I hope Seth kills fucking Trump. You think Seth, so? No, Seth absolutely won't kill Trump. What's going to happen is... He's not brave What's going to happen is, is uh, Seth's going to make it illegal, or Trump's going to make it illegal to criticize Donald Trump, and then Seth's immediately going to say, I was the first one to love Donald Trump. I, I, I love Donald Trump. I support everything that he does. And if he wants a list of friends that I have that have criticized him, I will happily <laughs> fax that over to yeah. him immediately. Uh, you know, at cost, of course. I'm not paying for the key fee. Seth, <laughs> Seth is the kind of guy, Dickfield, by the way, not uh, not anybody else. <laughs> yeah, the, the fictional character Dickfield is the kind of guy that would immediately sell every single person he knew <laughs> his own fucking mother he's like uh, the Jews that were like the guards in the camps yeah. for the Nazis the uh-huh. kapas yeah yeah <laughs> Is there any way that did those I guys be all the get dessert got? taster? <laughs> <laughs> did, those, did all the capos get got? Um, or did they no, survive? They like saved their own asses. Really? By like, like they were in charge of making sure everyone was working. Yeah. Well, at the end, there's though, actually a movie just, about brah. him called uh, Schindler's Cock. <laughs> 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 yeah, they were just the the biggest uh, tattletale pieces of shit. They but, were probably, uh, you know, the the descent. Their descendants were probably part of the eighteen percent of Jews that voted for Donald Trump. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, dude, this shit is a buck ass wild. I love the Latin, like the third. What was it? Thirty six percent of Latino men voted for Trump. That's awesome. Hell yeah! Shout out to the thirty six. <laughs> Los thirty six. <laughs> Los thirty six. <laughs> Mi, mi chicones de 36 hijos de uh, el Trumpo uh, 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 puta uno, dos, o tres. Uh, isn't, it, isn't it white women's fault, though, for real? Like, didn't they? Yeah, vote? it's white women's fault. It's Thank like white God. people. It's white people. I'm, I'm glad, glad it's, dude, white it's women's fault. It's fucking Hillary's fault. You know what it's I mean? Hillary's yeah, yeah, yeah. a of course, shitty, she, awful candidate. Yeah, but it's crazy that. If she lost that, white women. That women. Her <laughs> selfishness. It's literally her fucking selfishness is yeah. the reason that she, she was entitled. She thought she, she deserved it. She did fucking. Un, yeah. Like uh, yeah. her. So anything that happens uh, is her fault. Well, no. Her On stri- a personal level. Not her as a politician. <laughs> and Hillary Clinton is a fucking person. It was like, it's my turn. It's, it's some fucking old piece of shit. Rich woman. Yeah. That decided. She literally lost to a guy whose name was Hussein. Yeah. Like, yeah, a black yeah. guy, a black guy been in the Senate a year for, and a half. Yeah, yeah. What was it yeah. two and a half years? Or something? I think it was, was it two, four yeah. years. No, it was no, a no. full term. Well, I don't think it was. Uh, he won in 2004. Yeah, so it was yeah. four years. Okay, yeah, at that point. Okay, uh, he beat Alan Keyes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember that dude? The other black guy. The other black Republican dude. <laughs> yeah. um, he was pretty funny. Yeah, there was Alan Keyes, then Herman, and now... Herman Cain. I mean, yo, I was wearing, this really is like if Herman Cain won. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> no, well, I well, yeah, Herman Cain also did sexually assault women. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, what were we talking about before that? No, no, Hillary... Um, oh, I don't know. She's a fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Yeah, I mean, it just... I'm I don't know. so mad. Ran a terrible campaign. Well, no, yeah, that was the thing, is that she... Okay, she had her convention, and then she disappeared, showed up on 9-11, passed out, showed up for three debates, and expected him to shoot himself in the dick. That was her strategy. Which it was just like, of, shut the fuck up. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the thing I was thinking about earlier was like, what was like one policy plan that she put out? Like Trump kept talking about the wall, and like at least he had some shit. He was talking mm-hmm. about trade agreements. There was some shit. Oh, no, that she yeah. had shit. What was she uh, the, raising minimum wage to seven dollars and twenty six cents? <laughs> that was a big one. Um, no, she was like pushing f- uh, free public education, and she she all basically Bernie shit. took all the Bernie shit, but everyone didn't believe her. Right, yeah, you right. know, everyone was like, That's, "Oh yeah, right." That was and the most like cool. NAFTA thing during the I didn't primary. Like that. Is when I had to keep hearing over and over again, like, "Well, Bernie's job is to you know bring Hillary." to the left and it's like that'll be erased 
in yeah. fucking two months. Of course, and no one's gonna buy it. She's right. like, she's not a she's not a good actor. She can't sell that mm-hmm. shit. She's not like fucking slick Willie. I was Obama. saying, I just yeah. here's my personal hope is that for the rest of her fucking life, all of her shit continues to be hacked and put on WikiLeaks. <laughs> her as a private citizen, <laughs> all of her shit, or fucking her like calling customer service departments that's recorded and put online. <laughs> Although looking t- up directions, her medical records, I hope everything continues to be fucking hacked. But and then the FBI investigates it for some reason. <laughs> no, matter what, no matter what, they just investigate. Just Comey after he leaves the FBI is <laughs> yeah, yeah, investigating yeah. it. I'm running a personal investigation. <laughs> he moves to Massachusetts, yeah. like lives in a cabin, only yeah. wears sweaters and only investigates Hillary. <laughs> He's got like a big board like with fucking yeah, pins yeah. in it and shit. This shit's crazy, dude. It, like, I feel like, shouldn't the Illuminati have stepped in? No. And that, that's like what's crazy is. Uh, oh, no, it's great, dude. They're repealing Dodd Frank. The Dow's up, dude. Yeah. yeah. Gold, oh, yeah. Sachs People are like, going hey, about, like, oh, the fucking the stock markets are going to tank. Just well, wait. No, no, it will tank once there's another bubble burst. Because of like wide deregulation. Sure, yeah. That, yeah. Well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna. <laughs> but take it's not right like now. speculators and investors are, are worried that Donald Trump's gonna change anything. No, no. So no. it's fine. No, he's gonna make it better for them. Yeah, he's gonna repeal. Do- like the only like which the limp. Don Frank doesn't even. Yeah, it's the bullshit. limp dick financial regulation that Obama was able to squeeze through which after sucks. George Bush literally destroyed the economy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. Is how Obama came in and literally had so much political capital. And couldn't do anything. Yeah, he passed a bullshit health care plan. He passed a bullshit a stimulus package that only really didn't affect uh, didn't affect labor, but it only affected capital. I, yeah. And you know, and he saved he saved uh, the auto industry by literally taking apart UAW, which is like one of the oldest unions in like mm-hmm. American like modern American history. But they're racist, so fuck them. What are you talking about, dude? They're auto workers. They're racist, and and it, fuck these crack ass white boys. <laughs> <laughs> any, um, any one of them for being any kind of racist, no matter what, I'll, I'll disagree with their politics and I'll vote against them. And <laughs> also, I will say it. this. This is a referendum on how shitty of a president Barack Obama was. Like, literally, if people felt like their lives are better than they were no. eight years ago. No, they weren't. No. no. Yeah, they, he they weren't. No, he didn't do what they, did he, he do? He didn't what did do he shit. He's ACA, just cool. The ACA He's is just a cool. fuck up. You're right. But like, who? But are people's lives worse right now? Yes. Yes. Because yeah, dude, after immigration 08, got worse, yeah. fucking uh, he domestic it. spying programs got worse. Yes. The, uh, we're bombing seven different countries yeah. right now. Things got worse under Obama. Yes. But you know what? He is cool enough that even when I watch him speak, I'm like, ah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's the difference is that like he's a celebrity. People are like, oh, uh, Hillary we replaced would just be a celebrity with Hil- a celebrity. Yeah, Hillary would just be four more years or eight more years of Obama. And it's like the only thing I liked about him was his personality. <laughs> Him. Yeah, yeah, and you know, like, oh, well, you just don't like her personality because you're sexist. Well, fuck it, maybe. I mean, that's not true, but maybe it is. I don't want to fuck. Right, I shouldn't right, have to right. fucking, you know. Uh, if it was a matter of hanging out with them, I shouldn't have to hang out with somebody I don't like. I don't right, have right, to right. listen to. Uh, 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 but it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not. The, the sexism argument, sure, that's definitely a part of it, but it's also we, like, people do hate women, but that's it's also sure. yeah, but she's also. Women. She's not cool she sucks. in she any way. Woman. She's, she's, not, yeah. she's like a yeah. fucking boring person to listen exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, not trustworthy, which is evidenced by, you know, fact and also just fucking looking at her. I just, she's not a fucking entertaining person or a trustworthy yeah. person to, to. She's not a people person. Right, yeah. And she's not a, like, she doesn't, she's not cool. Like, she doesn't connect with people. And the people who she does connect with well, are not. whatever. She's going to be put on the wall and shot, <laughs> and I'm going to be there, dude. But I'm what? getting one of those tickets. I'm opening it's gonna for the be murder. You, <laughs> you and I'm all doing, those Chinese. I'm doing Doesn't 20 minutes before the murder. Only I'm on gonna Star get Wars. The light <laughs> and, I'm, I'm going to get the light at 15 minutes. I'm walking off at 17, and I'm counting at 20. I'm not even going to do my full time, because that's the kind of comic I am. I, I do what I'm contractually obligated you to do. You respect the light. I fill the time. That's all I have to do, folks. I don't have to fucking make you laugh. That's not my job. <laughs> Doesn't Obama have high ass approval ratings and shit? Don't people like him? Because he's right cool. Now? Just because he's cool, you're right. Yeah, yeah, but they don't like their lives. I don't know, man. And yo, and honestly, like, yo, what's gonna happen to Medicaid? He's he's That's tried to know. Uh, they, they, uh, they'll probably um, gut. Uh, well, they're at least gonna immediately get Obamacare. rid of. Uh, 
of uh, the mandate that employers have to pay for reproductive. Um, yeah, right. right. Every all, the, girl, all the pussy medicines. All right the girls. The all the girls. Uh, Damn. All the cool uh, uh, girls are getting uh, what are they call IUDs. IUDs right mm-hmm. now. I don't know if uh, and you know what the Medicaid expansions because Damn straight. the Medicaid here. expansions those go to that's just mo- extra money that goes to the state to the state right, right, right. so if you're if you live in New York you'll probably, probably be, okay. be okay yeah yeah uh, also there's money that comes from the but state but like I government. said I just went to go see if I could get a fucking plan and I can't. So the insurance, like the healthcare provider industry is already so fucked up because of the ACA's implementation, because it fucked up in all these ways that economists said it would and caused problems. So even if they repeal it now, it's not like it bounces back to the way it was. Maybe you couldn't get healthcare because you're a bitch, though. Yeah, that's what it was. I forgot to uncheck yeah, the box. Yeah, you should uncheck that. You <laughs> should male, female, bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should, I, I check big bitch. dick ass, have an ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. well, they can't. Ins- you, you, you can't, well, can't check. check. Oh, sir, Legally, detected, they can't check. We've detected how enormously fat your fingers were by the weight of the keys <laughs> pressing down. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to offer you any healthcare plan. <laughs> but if you like, we have a, a, one of those uh, old bathing suits from the 1800s. <laughs> yeah. And a giant lolly. A romper. A romper. A That you can wear for funny pictures. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good compromise. And we have and a some carousel. <laughs> yeah. We have a little photo shoot we can do. I would fucking yeah. love that, dude. I would take that shit. Oh, Savi, uh, you look so cute. Yeah, Thank you. You we have a so diaper cute. and a sash that says New Year 1938. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. What's Comey up to? Uh, he's he's got to be. He's got to be. He, I, I like that he's like basically turned into Gill in the last like month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you think the FBI gonna, just doesn't fuck with Clinton at all? Well, yeah, but this no, nah, it's probably all the it's probably fuck with Clinton. Yeah, so the CIA, the CIA loves, fucks yeah, with Clinton really. and the FBI fucks with Trump. Yeah, mm. so there was like but sort of an there's internal there's not consistency war. Going on. Th- there's not consistency Damn, throughout the FBI fucked. in terms of like you know who they support or whatever. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't think that Comey had any kind of particular partisan motivations there. He's I think, just a fucking idiot. I think his first misstep in the, uh, you know, during the last 10 months was when uh, they were investigating the email server and Clinton was repeatedly saying, it's not an investigation, this is not a criminal investigation, it's a security inquiry. And then Comey said, yeah, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about, we don't do security inquiries. Which I don't understand why he said that. Right, I mean, right, right. obviously, you know. Well, it does yeah, seem like he was it, fucking it was shit probably, up a little. No, it, was it was probably political. annoying. He was definitely it fucking was shit up. What? What do you mean? Uh, he, he, yeah. I think the reason he said it is because it was political. He's just kind of jabbing a little bit. Like he, he can look incompetent while actually also. I think fucking honestly, it, it actually. I think, I think fucked, his motivation. The entire election. Yeah, for sure. Did, for sure. I think his motivation yeah. was to protect the integrity of the FBI, whatever that means in his own fucking head. Right. When initially, you know, he made that statement because it doesn't want to look like the FBI is just some partisan bulldog. Uh, but you know, by saying that, that's the. That's what he does. He yeah. creates that perception that he is meddling. And so when he started meddling and then they had that long investigation I mean, yeah. and then that press conference, which is a stupid way to do it, but he already stuck his foot in his mouth three months prior. I mean, his the, the conceit of his statements at that press conference were that Hillary Clinton fucked up and she did break the law. But if an employee had broken the law, they would just be fired. So mm. since she's not in office right now, the result should be that she loses the election. And he, you know, more or less said that. Right, right, right. By reiterating over and over again that if, well, this if la- a government yeah. employee is going to be lost his job. This last shit though, with the they had no new shit, no no new info. And they, I mean, that was he's going to be I'm in fucked. charge of the new Trump KGB Stasi <laughs> or whatever you get, yeah. the state police. <laughs> he's going to congratulations, James. Cohen. What do you think, a Trey Gowdy? Attorney General, is that going to happen? Jesus, they said Rudy. That would be terrifying. They said Rudy Jesus G. Fucking Christ! They're going to be some psychos in charge of Shkreli. Is probably going to get the Securities <laughs> Exchange Commission. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, Cutie Martin Shkreli. Yo, Omarosa is going to work for, yeah. the, for the White House. Well, Oma, yeah. Omarosa, they're going to kill Michelle Obama and replace her with Omarosa. <laughs> oh yeah, and Chris Christie as a won. person. By the way, Chris Christie won. It worked out. Yeah, yeah he's going to keep. Hilarious. He's going to keep. His life isn't over. It should have been. Well, over. who knows? Yeah. His two top shit. Whatever. Trump will give, have the fucking judges killed. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get the U.S. You know, attorneys that's, like... That's really... The, the he's going to put fucking concrete shoes on the U.S. Is that, is that it proves that people don't get killed. No. Like well, if, we'll see. If somebody was going to... if Anthony Weiner should have been killed, right? 
He should. He if if Hillary yeah, kills yeah, people, yeah. she would have killed Anthony, Anthony Weiner Weiner six months ago. Killed. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, like he fucked up the whole world. If, Anthony Weiner ruined the world. Here's, here's it might be too, if they're going to kill Trump. If they're going to kill him, they would use, you know, obviously a patsy or whatever. Right, yeah, yeah. But Trump is also the kind of guy that just gets murdered by psychos. Right, right. And that's yeah, yeah. the exact personality. Like the guy me. that cl- climbed the tower. Like the kid who, who climbed Trump Tower. Uh, who was like a, just a, a fan. retarded boy. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> who was a big Gilbert Grape. But he was, he was a big fan. He did yeah. it as a fan, right? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. He loved Trump. And he's like, I have to have a meeting with you immediately at Trump Tower. That's why I'm going to be uh, yeah. climbing the tower. So I, I will... You know, I See you there at a Trump Tower. You saw the video, right? Yeah, yeah and Trump and he was couldn't like, make eye contact with it, the camera. Yeah, but I mean, like, so you know, like, like Huey Long, uh, John Lennon, uh, Reagan, right. mm-hmm. Kennedy. Like, they're the kinds yeah. of people that get murdered by. By crazy well, people. if anyone's listening to the podcast that might be a little crazy, Jodie Foster will be so impressed. Dude, but the thing is, you. Mike Pence will then be president. Oh, no, Mike, Pre- <laughs> Pence, Mike Pence is going to be president. He's already That's president. That's how you know that there's going to be murder, like there's secret murders. If somebody assassinates Mike Pence yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of Trump. Yeah. Ooh. Here's the thing is like Mike Pence is scarier because he is He believes all the crazy he's shit. He's not incompetent. He's a competent psycho. Yeah. And yeah. Donald Trump's an incompetent psycho. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's going oh, to be a mainstream man. Bush style Republican administration. It's gonna be Heritage Foundation and fucking the Yeah, all these never gay Trump motherfuckers guy. are now like, Hey, you know what? Yeah. We believed in him all well, along. Well, they're gonna team up with the fucking these the Democrats that have no idea what to do. Yeah. Fucking be ben a, Shapiro, yeah, they'll, dude. They'll, all all the all be absorbed into you know a new damn dude this shitty shit centrist sucks. party dude uh, also um shout out to all the cum boys we met last night they were everyone's really cool and nice yeah met. there's not enough jokes on this episode Sorry. i guess so uh i guess uh fucking uh we should probably talk about all these new uh, Apple laptops <laughs> just came out. Touch ball. Have we talked about this for three episodes in a row? <laughs> I want to know is how, how, do you, how do you get some pornography? <laughs> the touch screen ball. Uh, yeah, I got enough titties on the screen here. I'm saying you put the titty on the screen, maybe you put the pussy down on the touch bar. The clit area. It's training. I think it would be very funny to, to the, the visual of someone on the subway watching hardcore pornography on an Apple watch. Mm-hmm. Like just with, just with his wrist like across his eyes, just making noises. Yeah. Everyone on the train just like it wouldn't be oh, awesome to check your yeah. watch. It's just someone getting fucked in the ass. Oh, so no, well, yeah. just an up close shot. I of see what time it is. Yeah. I think that yum 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 yum. You just start eating it. <laughs> she sucked my dick. I don't know how it happened. Uh, Whoa, that's good, guys. What else yeah, do we have? Timing on that. Uh, um, none of this is choreographed. None of it's planned. Absolutely. Uh, that's not. the point of the Trump election. That's why it's a win for Comtown yeah. because <laughs> yeah. the nerd that went to Yale Law and yeah. was Secretary of State you and know was what? senator I, from New York it's, 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 and had all the experience of the world fucking lost and the guy that di- you know what, didn't even Hillary, study for the yeah. test one. Hillary versus Trump uh, boils down to improv versus stand-up. <laughs> Donald Trump is stand-up comedy. Hillary Clinton is improv. Oh, wow. I, don't know. I think most of what he was no, doing no, was I, improv. I, I, I think I'm serious about I, that. I, I know what you're Donald saying. Donald Trump is a guy that just can riff and yeah. it might not seem fleshed out but he's funny and people are laughing at him everybody's you know they got two drink minimum they're drunk they love him yeah. Hillary Clinton is like oh you know it's the system or whatever but you have a fucking yeah system there's a specific way you apply you're not naturally funny right and, uh, and, and you're your also, parents you're also covering up a shit ton of rapes while pretending <laughs> like you're, you're, you aren't there you go that's where Donald Trump just Buckets. gets drunk and grabs uh, some waitress's <laughs> pussy that's Damn. not stand up comedy Comedy, baby. Yeah. Nick, Nick, that was like when Steph Curry, when Steph Curry just pulls up from 40. Yeah. Nick, that was a thing of beauty. I can't even laugh. That was That's so good. That's really fucking, oh. yeah. Oh, well, it's the truth. That's Fuck what it is. She was covering up. Hella so rapes. Many. Yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Hillary is UCB. <laughs> An unelectable cunt brigade. <laughs> unelectable cunt <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck, man. Are we going to get arrested for talking shit about Trump? Should we enlist? No, dude. Uh, first of all, everyone who listens to this can read through the lines and they know I'm actually a Nazi and I support <laughs> Donald Trump. Yeah, me too. I all play the other Jewish stuff. character on this <laughs> yeah. show. Some people caught on yeah. to that. A lot of people realize. don't know that I'm just doing Adam. Yeah. I'm able to do <laughs> yeah. both voices at once. Yeah, that's true. I can actually <laughs> sing at two different <laughs> octaves. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I do stop too. This is a one man operation. Yeah. In real life, mm-hmm. I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut. Okay. <laughs> and da- and father bought me all this podcasting equipment. <laughs> and you know, we were sum- summering in Kenny Bunkport, Maine, and I decided Yo, I'm you, gonna start a podcast. You think he's just gonna give his sons jobs? Of like course. The, no, like, no, no. They're going to run the business and he's yeah. going to steal from the government and like benefit the business. I love how like, he's going to get impeached. Uh, two weeks ago, it was people being like, Michelle 2020. And the truth is going to be like Donald Trump Jr. Yeah. 2020. <laughs> no, Ivanka. <laughs> yeah, Ivanka 2020. Dude, Ivanka like literally abandoned the campaign two weeks ago and now he won. Yeah. His own mm. daughter didn't think he was yeah. going to win. Dude, in the beginning of the night, people I were leaking I always shit forget. where it was like... People were trying to jump off. They're like, yeah, we think we're getting our asses handed to us. Everyone's polls just like, Jesus we're Christ. wrong. Yeah. Damn, dude. Well, Nate, Nate Silver, Silver sort of got it right. Really? Nate Silver was the uh, at the end of the day. And you know, that's you know who else said it? Michael Moore. Yeah. Unfortunately. Michael Moore, who's now turning into uh, a TED And here's talk. why Michael Moore got it right. Because he's actually from fucking Flint and yeah. he knows people who are voting for Trump. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm seeing people on Facebook today. They're like... Yeah, especially in like the backlash to people uh, uh, saying that it's, you know, Bernie or whatever, or, you know, pe- people that are mad at people like me for saying that Bernie would have won, right. which he would have. Bernie would have won. <laughs> Bernie would have. Hillary didn't win. Objectively, that's true. She fucking lost. Bernie would have won. So the, they're saying like, oh, Bernie wouldn't have fucking won. They wouldn't elect a, a Jew. You think that all the, a party that ran on racism, which, you know, in their minds, I guess every single person mm-hmm. who voted for Donald Trump, the only thing they liked about him is that he was racist one yeah. percent of well, the yeah, time and also speaking. so many of those people voted for obama oh uh, and what are you talking about yeah, exactly. exactly and, and then, voted for obama and well, you, you can't, can't say, say it's the racism yeah. <laughs> now, the first guy who did racist yeah, yeah, was, yeah. goldwater was, was, was the jewish jewish jew <laughs> barry goldwater dude i don't think he was jewish he was, jewish. <laughs> he was ethnically jewish he wasn't jewish yeah he was Barry Goldwater was actually the first uh, the first Jew uh, uh, elected in a uh, in a in a primary. Was he? Yeah. Well, yeah. He was. You got to take it. You got to take. There have been dude. a lot of embarrassing Jews in government. Oh, jo- he's Joseph Lieberman. He was pretty Eric funny. Eric Cantor. Oof, that haircut. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Ugh, oh, yeah, die. they would have never elected Bernie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but they elected all these other Jews that are in the campaign. Yeah, um, I think. Honestly, the best thing George Bush ever did was well, keep Joe Lieberman I from guess being vice president. <laughs> my point with all that <laughs> so embarrassing. My point with all that is that like they're completely out of touch with the people that did vote for Donald Trump. You can sit back and say, "Oh, I can't believe that America actually turned out to be racist," and it's like you have no communication. Well, with these something people. else yeah. I heard today. I don't know if this is true or not. It's probably true is that (laughs) local news reporting like the budgets have been slashed so much so like the only places where there really are journalists is are on the coast and they are completely out of touch with what's happening in the country i think that's what we found is that the media doesn't know what's happening that's what blows my mind is all these fucking comics i meet that are talking about like well i want to work on this pilot that's sort of about like gentrification it's like you realize that 90% 90% no. of America doesn't even know what that means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they have no fucking idea. And that, like, the, there are some things that are kind of like LGBT, because gay people exist everywhere. everywhere. But there's social issues that are specifically bound to the coasts and urban environments that you, like, shut the fuck up. That's yeah. not a thing. Yeah. Microaggressions? <laughs> How are you going to microaggress somebody when your neighbor lives fucking, you know, uh, four miles down the road? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know. You can shit with the door open. They'd never find out. Yeah, these... It just really does come down to, though, but just, like, there was no, like, all these people, they're fucking, they're not making any money, their jobs, like what you were saying, manufacturing jobs and shit are gone, and mm-hmm. there was the oh, the two candidates, one is, like, loves fucking, you know, loves trade agreements, love all, loves all this shit, is the establishment, fucking Goldman Sachs, whatever. Her husband was yeah. in charge of NAFTA, I mean, like. And, and yeah, Donald Trump's her message, last name. He's saying that it's like, oh, it's fucking immigrants and it's fucking other countries that's the problem. Yeah. And she just doesn't even say anything about it. I mean, that's, of course they're going to fucking. Also, in yeah. the larger, like, macro scale, 
The wall is significant because this is what's going to be happening more and more in the next 50, 100 years is that there are going to be parts of the world that are uninhabitable, whether it's because they're underwater or because of wars Damn. and stuff. Yeah. And Syria... That is the other scary gonna shit. To, is like, we're going to need to take millions of people and move them on the planet, right? And in Western Europe, in the United States, there are all these Trump-style nativist, chest-pounding, right, right, right. like, ooga-booga fucking, like, liberal ass... Or, sorry, uh... Like conservative, like xenophobic, ass, xenophobic ass, yeah. like like maniac groups popping up, and uh, it's going to become more and more common. The fact, I think, the only way to really combat it personally is, I think, socialism. I think, like, actually having a a, a viable alternative. Um, we that, have to, or that we can fuck up, their or we fuck their women, or or we take the hot. Yeah, no, we really the only answer is colonialism. We have to go into the Middle East, kill all those people, rape all their women, <laughs> make them comport to our ideological yeah. values, and then let them duke it out with the you know the same kind of partisan politics that we've had for you, the last uh, two hundred years or so. You're seeing walls sprouting up not only here but in a lot of other places. Israel, for instance, there's a wall with the West Bank. You know, Israel's a fascist uh, ethnocracy, and you know they do fine. They got Hooters there. The U.S. could be like Israel. They have a booming tech industry. No. They have cafes, <laughs> yeah, and they true. commit genocide every day. So I don't understand why that's <laughs> such a bad place to be. I agree, dude. Yeah, I think we're on Louis, dude. Jeez Adam just Louis. shook his yeah. head in agreement. Hey, you I get up in the morning, <laughs> have some hummus, and then uh, kill a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do like that's like German. That's more. German. I don't know how to do. It. No, they it's sound French. like uh, oh. the French people. That no, yeah. it's like uh, of course uh, we wake up and the, the it's Palestinians uh, are trying to kill us uh, every day. So uh, what we do is uh, we uh, we strap on uh, military clothes <laughs> and the hot girls with uh, big tits uh, put on. <laughs> they put on the military clothes and they uh, take an M16. And you don't understand how hot it is to do girl doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> While she has uh, M16 pointed at the uh, terrorists <laughs> that are throwing that are throwing rocks at you, they are doing terrorism with rocks, with uh, just pebbles. Uh, like, I saw I saw a little boy uh, walk past a pebble, so I picked him up and put him in my microwave. <laughs> Now he is with the hummus. We <laughs> ate him and drank his blood, <laughs> but it uh, was not uh, like Christian blood. No. Uh, not there are plenty. Delicious. There are plenty of. <laughs> there are plenty of very good folks. We like to have a little anti-Semitic fun on this podcast. <laughs> there are plenty of good people who live in Israel. In my family, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're called Palestinians. <laughs> Folks. All right. <laughs> Your parents don't listen to podcasts. You can't just I called, steal land. I called my parents today. Yeah. I called them. We spoke for the first time since they found out about Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. What did yeah. they say? Yeah. They, I thought that they would be losing their minds because honestly, my parents were right. They were like, no one's taking Trump seriously. They were going nuts. Yeah. Right. And then they could start saying, I'm Trump and it's my fault, you know, like all this stuff. And I called complete calmness. They're so true. Really? Yeah. Because we operate like the time where we're most calm is crisis mode. Mm. Whenever th- when you say we, what do you mean? I, I'm talking it's Jews. Jews. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. When, when the people in my family, particularly, like whenever times are good, we're just waiting for the next crisis. Yeah. But it, whenever there's a crisis, then we're like, oh, yeah. That's fine. the thing is like culturally, I feel like the Bush years were great, and that is an extension of the whole like, well, is it comedy going to be better? But I think, and I, th- I do think it has more to do with like post nine eleven America. Wait, you're a big like Limp Biscuit fan. What, yeah. what do you mean? Actually, culturally? yeah, actually, yeah. If we're gonna <laughs> fucking be honest about it, Limp Biscuit is rolling, baby. Severely overrated, <laughs> and it became this like under laughing, or over uh, underrated. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I meant underrated. But they fucking no, people. They became this like fun band to shit on because you know I guess no, they're, they, they're no, they're not, dude. They're, they're bad. First of all, rap rock as a genre is dog shit. Yeah. But, but for them to yes. come out of that, I think no, Significant Other is a great album. This Nick is was really the, into the most hilarious trolling you've ever Nick done. Nick was in your really life. into. I'm <laughs> serious. I, I can pull up Apple Music right now. I've actually listened to Significant Other maybe You're five or six such times. Such a in the last fucking six asshole. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nick went to Ozfest 2003 and saw uh, Corn, Limp Bizkit, yeah. KMFDM, uh, uh, Power Man 5000, yeah. uh, fucking Afro Man was there. Yeah, just Vertical p- Horizon, Pennywise. Do you remember that Pennywise. band? Pennywise. Yeah, no. maybe that was Warped Tour. They were a Warped Tour band. Yeah, uh, I went to HFS. Now rap rock sucks. Rage, literally Rage Against the Machine, Cottonmouth Kings. Oh, Cottonmouth Kings suck. They were, Kings sucked, they were dude, the absolute. Dude. What about worst POD? Life. They were like Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that uh, shit sucks. Lit. My yeah. It's lit. P- P- P.O.D. probably got paid fucking good off that one song that was on every movie trailer about yeah, what snowboarding. Was, what was that song? I feel so alive. Yeah, yeah. Like every time, like, like yeah. just a dude's doing a Die. flip on his... That was yeah. like in every saw, single movie trailer. I saw a homemade music video of that song made by some kid that had like, you know, it was seen hair before his emo hair. Yeah, yeah I remember. Hair before yeah. Seen hair. And he's like flipping his hair and he's wearing a leather jacket, but he had spina bifida. Oh, so it was all these oh. like black and white shots like zooming in and out of him. But he's just propped up against a tree. Oh, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And he's like, you know, singing along to I the... I feel so no. Yeah, and it's like, you're literally not. Your spine what is, is <laughs> leaking out of your bones. <laughs> That's <laughs> meant a lot to him. Uh, yeah, and then I could never find it again. I wanted to well, dude, uh, you you know know what laugh to, with him. You know what song? <laughs> I wanted to go find that video to laugh with that guy. You know what song from that era I thought was legit good? What song? Um, the fucking Spider-Man song with the lead singer Chad Nick Kroger. Nickelback. Yeah. And oh, they say the that a the hero yeah, will save fuck me. Us. We were laughing about all those Superman songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't stand yeah, yeah. to fly if you yeah, just I'm suck fucking my Superman, dick. but I'm still fucking crazy. Me Superman. <laughs> yeah. I'm Superman. You yeah, better fuck me. That The first but one, I'm the five for five. I think was, yeah. one was like the 9-11 yeah. worker at yeah. Ground Zero theme song. They were like, we fucking love this song because like, I'm like a Superman here being in 9-11 <laughs> and saving people. So like, yeah, it really speaks to me. <laughs> Sorry, I should have made fun of this. Yeah, heroes. why are you making fun of first of responders? Of heroes, dude. dude. They're literally the only people we respect on this podcast is the 9-11 first responders, but only if they were men and they were from Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> if you're true. one of these fucking, <laughs> you're one of these women that came from... <laughs> You know, uh, Connecticut or whatever. Ooh, me too. I want to help too. It's like, yeah, second bitch, responders. We got many here. We got yeah. Staten Island fellas. Nothing gets me. Taking care of these towers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets me quite as hot as a fucking 9 11 second responder. Yeah. Pieces of shit. Oh, yeah. fuck. You went, there, so- you went there on D Day. You take those fucking medals off. Whoa, you're hot. You're hot, Nick. You're getting hot. Yeah, sorry. I get a little heated. I'm, I was actually. Would you uh, still fuck me I was, actually, if I was uh, straight and Superman? You know, I don't want to steal valor here, but uh, <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL, and I was one of the 9-11 first <laughs> This is a strange way to preface that statement. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to be... 100% <laughs> true statement. <laughs> Wait, you were telling me that story about how you ran up to the top floor <laughs> while the towers were smoldering. You scaled it, actually. Dude, and, the tower, and then you the ran tower, back down, and you realized the, you forgot the, a kid no, upstairs. I'm, I'm telling right? you, I was up there, and I was on floor. 101. Whoa. That's right where the plane hit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was going to the, the uh, water fountain. I was sucking water up with my mouth and I was blowing it all over the flames. <laughs> and I could feel the building start to collapse. So I'd reach up and I put my hand yeah, on, yeah, the yeah. on the ceiling. On the ceiling. Oh, wow. And I held the building up, the the top part of the building. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and for like engineering until wise, yeah. everyone got out of the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, on floor one hundred and one. Uh, yeah, yeah. On floor you saved like five thousand people. Six hundred and eighty-two million. <laughs> A rough estimate is what they on. That was what was printed on the medal I got from the president. <laughs> when I met with the president, yeah, we went to uh, melting pot, and then he let me drive my car in the driveway. Melting. <laughs> Let me drive his car in the driveway <laughs> afterwards. And, uh, <laughs> is a, guy that, a guy that lies about being a 9-11 first responder, but he does it like a four-year-old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then me and my friends, we went to laser tag after, but they used actual lasers. So we actually killed uh, like four or five kids on the other team, but our team won. We got free burritos afterwards. Because they use actual lasers. It's a special laser tag place. <laughs> and then we went bowling. My dad knows the bowling guy, so we were allowed to like slide down the bowling alley <laughs> and then my house actually has a slide in it that goes we have that money room from uh, uh, DuckTales in my house there's actually yeah well my dad's actually an assassin 
Okay, folks, while we're winding well, down here. First I'm podcast sorry. of the Trump era, I think mm-hmm. it was okay. Uh, yeah, hail Trump. Matt was like concerned about that last night. Yeah, he's night. like, Chopo's done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. We're just going to, if we if Trump is the president, we're just going to become the he's fucking like, daily show. Everyone's <laughs> going to be mad at us. It's like, people are already mad at you, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's their fault. It's Chapa's fault. Yeah. Trump, Trump won. That podcast. It's a <laughs> podcast fault. It's uh, Kumia and Chapa's fault. <laughs> no one, not not the fault of uh, the shitty candidate that illegally kept a child pornography server in her house. <laughs> that is what she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she I just lost. loved all those people that were like, the it's Satan the, thing? The people that are doing the math. Yeah, it's like, why the fuck? That is a legitimate concern is like the private email or whatever, but why do you have to introduce this like it's satanic child yeah, 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 rape? Yeah. And it's I like, know. like, do you know it's what like Karina Karina Abramovich is saying? It's like, she's a performance star. Everyone knows yeah. she's a performance star. She does weird shit. It's not weird that she smeared a bunch of blood on the walls. It would be weird if she was having a Tupperware party. Right. right yeah, that would be right. That would be bizarre. Be yeah. If they were going to, uh, that might sound like code, yeah. but yeah, I'm having a party where we smear shit on the walls and it's like, yeah, that's pretty much par for the Course, that's performance right? art. That's just what yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, it's like sh- you don't think it's not enough to, for the Secretary of State to maybe have fucking leaked some emails because she's using a certain. You know what I mean? Like that's bad. Well, yeah, you'd be surprised how many people in this country believe in ghosts and believe in like the <laughs> devil and believe in that yeah. kind of shit. I think that shit kind of works. That's there were crazy. a bunch of like tweets and stuff that's like, oh hell no, I don't play with no, I don't play with that devil shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, black people, I'm not voting black for that people bitch. totally think ghosts are real. You know how easy it is to scare black people. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. <laughs> you were doing the voice. I responded to it. Well, I was it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. It was well, my fault. Anyway, well, everyone, guys. this is probably one of the last come towns before we get. Uh, we just changed the name to Trump. Yeah, Trump we're, uh, we're going to have Kurt Metzger on, I think. Well, actually, me and Stav are going to do a special road show for the premium episode this month. Me and him got a little bit of business to take care of. What, the hunt? Uh, oh, yeah, we got to talk. Yeah, let's talk yeah about no, this. we got shit we got to go do. All right. We got a guy we got to see about a thing, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Folks, me and Stav uh, transport uh, weapons uh, <laughs> down the eastern seaboard, <laughs> and I'm being 100% serious about that. So uh, if you're excited about the upcoming revolution, you want to buy a gun, yeah. uh, Just I, got text a, us. I have a 3D printer that can pres- print lower receivers for both AK-47s and fully automatic uh, M16s. And um, pocket pussies. And right? pocket pussies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I tried doing that as a bit when those came out. Yeah, obviously that's yeah. the first thing you think to make. Well, no, my, the bit I was Tell doing is fuck. like, they say they got these 3D printers now, they can print pocket pussies and guns. And it's like, well, if you print a gun, why the fuck would you print that? You just get a real pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why print the pocket pussy? That's a, that's a good bit that's about it. Yeah, I did that at UCB rape. East, and that did not go over yeah. well. <laughs> Didn't do so yeah. hot. To... Um, <clears throat> all right, well, thank you for listening, everyone. Is that how we doing on yeah, time, boys? No, we're done. That's right. Hail, the episode. Hail Trump. Hail Satan. Uh, Hail we're, Satan. This is the number one punk rock podcast, the official <laughs> Donald Trump podcast, the official <laughs> Martin Shkreli podcast, uh, uh, officially Puerto sponsored Rico by right NPR, uh, copyright, 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 trademark, doing business incorporated, <laughs> LLC. <laughs> Well, big uh, big time out. international big, business. Yeah. <laughs> big time. Me and Cyber Laugh, I would go to the LLC. It's like, and yeah, and I want dollar signs through the L's. <laughs> yeah. serve, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> Legally, it has to just be LLC. Nah, 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 but dollar signs, though. <laughs> dollar signs, though. Ah, uh, fuck. All right, well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right, well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right, well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right. Well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right. Well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right. Well, good night, folks. Right. Uh, fuck. All right. Well, good night, folks. Right.